Reverse engineering feels like one of those things you're supposed to eventually learn if you're serious about hacking, right? Like there's this unspoken rule that if you can't open a binary and immediately start parsing assembly in your head, you're not a real hacker. So you download Ghidra, fire up a random crack me, and the second it loads, you're greeted with lines like move EAX D word pointer open bracket EP minus 0x4 close bracket. Then compare EX with 0x1337 and jump not equal to location 40103C and your brain just blue screens. You sit there, staring at meaningless abbreviations and hexadecimal addresses, wondering why you ever thought this would be fun. The truth is, most people don't hate reverse engineering, they just hate assembly. And fair enough. Assembly is dense, cryptic, and brutally unforgiving. It wasn't made for humans, it was made for machines. And reading it line by line feels like translating a legal contract written in Morse code. But here's the secret that nobody says out loud you don't have to love assembly to be good at reverse engineering. In fact, if you're someone who avoids low-level code because it feels like mental torture, you might already have the right mindset because reverse engineering isn't about memorizing opcodes. It's about thinking differently. It's not about translating every instruction. It's about understanding the program's behavior. If you can follow logic, track cause and effect, and be stubborn enough to poke at a binary until it gives up its secrets, you're already halfway to being dangerous. I want you to remember this. You don't need to be some assembly wizard to reverse engineer code. You don't need to read every instruction. You don't need to like it. You just need to outsmart it. Reverse engineering is just debugging backwards. And if you can stay curious and ask the right questions, you'll go farther than people who memorize opcodes but don't actually know what they're looking for. So yeah, go ahead. Hate assembly. It doesn't care. But learn how to beat it anyway. That's what makes you dangerous.